A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. You earn reputation by trying to do hard things well. You don't want to negotiate the price of simple things you buy every day. One of the huge mistakes people make is that they try to force an interest on themselves. You don't choose your passions, your passions choose you. I think frugality drives innovation, just like other constraints do. One of the only ways to get out of a tight box is to invent your way out. What's dangerous is not to evolve. It's not an experiment if you know it's going to work. We see our customers as invited guests to a party, and we are the hosts. It's our job every day to make every important aspect of the customer experience a little bit better. Life's too short to hang out with people who aren't resourceful. There are two kinds of companies, those that work to try to charge more and those that work to charge less. We will be the second. The common question that gets asked in business is, why? That's a good question, but an equally valid question is, why not? If you can't tolerate critics, don't do anything new or interesting. We've had three big ideas at Amazon that we've stuck with for 18 years, and they're the reason we're successful. Put the customer first. Invent. And be patient. I believe you have to be willing to be misunderstood if you're going to innovate. You know we're called Amazon? It's not just a river. If you're not stubborn, you'll give up on experiments too soon. And if you're not flexible, you'll pound your head against the wall and you won't see a different solution to a problem you're trying to solve. We're not competitor obsessed, we're customer obsessed. We start with what the customer needs and we work backwards. The best customer service is if the customer doesn't need to call you, doesn't need to talk to you. It just works. I'd rather interview 50 people and not hire anyone than hire the wrong person. If you do build a great experience, customers tell each other about that. Word of mouth is very powerful. We innovate by starting with the customer and working backwards. That becomes the touchstone for how we invent. I'm skeptical of any mission that is advertisers at its centerpiece. It's hard to find things that won't sell online. The thing that motivates me is a very common form of motivation. And that is, with other folks counting on me, it's so easy to be motivated. The best way to complain is to make things. The human brain is an incredible pattern matching machine. We are stubborn on vision. We are flexible on details. If you want to be inventive, you have to be willing to fail. Our point of view is we will sell more if we help people make purchasing decisions. It's not an accident that the marketplace for long-tail goods and the marketplace for handmade goods have been created at the same time. I'm a big fan of all you-can-eat plans, because they're simpler for customers. We see our customers as invited guests to a party, and we are the hosts. It's our job every day to make every important aspect of the customer experience a little bit better. A company shouldn't get addicted to being shiny because shiny doesn't last. Life's too short to hang out with people who aren't resourceful. If you're not stubborn, you'll give up on experiments too soon. 
And if you're not flexible, you'll pound your head against the wall and you won't see a different solution to a problem you're trying to solve. The common question that gets asked in business is, why? That's a good question, but an equally valid question is, why not? The one thing that offends me the most is when I walk by a bank and see ads trying to convince people to take out second mortgages on their home so they can go on vacation. That's approaching evil. Your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. I believe you have to be willing to be misunderstood if you're going to innovate. You don't want to negotiate the price of simple things you buy every day. Work hard, have fun, and make history. I think one of the things that I find absolutely atrocious about society is that sometimes people that are really working hard and getting a lot done aren't well liked. You have to be willing to be misunderstood if you're going to innovate.